Did you know that krill oil is more fish than fish oil? Probably not. Let me explain. Let's start with fish. Fish is the gold standard for getting your omega-3s. Health authorities around the globe believe you should eat at least one to two servings of fatty fish per week, which should average between seven to 12 ounces, or about 39 pounds of fish per year. They say this because fish contain valuable healthy fats, vitamins, minerals, and protein. But the most important reason you should eat fish is because of the long chain omega-3s they contain. More specifically, the omega-3s eicosafentanoic acid and docosahexanoic acid, or EPA and DHA for short. These omega-3s are among the most researched nutrients in the world. Did you know that there are more studies on omega-3s than almost any other substance? It's true. There are more studies on omega-3s than ibuprofen, Lipitor, Viagra, calcium, vitamin D, and vitamin C. Unfortunately, when it comes to fish consumption, we often don't eat the amount we're told for a variety of reasons. One, buying seafood can be expensive. Or two, there are just other foods you'd rather eat. In fact, if you look at the United States, the average consumer eats just 14 pounds of fish per year compared to 82 pounds of chicken, 57 pounds of beef, and 46 pounds of pork. This leaves consumers short roughly 25 pounds of fish per year when you consider what health authorities recommend and what is actually consumed in the diet. And the worst part? It leaves them omega-3 deficient, which can lead to all kinds of health problems. According to the Global Organization for EPA and DHA Omega-3s, or GOED, 84% of the world's population lives in countries with diets that are omega-3 deficient. The good news is Mother Nature has already come up with some suitable solutions. One of the healthiest fish, the wild Atlantic salmon, delivers long-chain omega-3s EPA and DHA in a mixture of both phospholipids and triglycerides, just as nature intended. Phospholipids and triglycerides play important roles in the delivery of omega-3s, but they differ in structure and function. Let's talk about krill. Krill live in every ocean around the globe. There are literally trillions of them. That's trillions with a T. But the hardiest live in a place at the bottom of the world called the Southern Ocean, which is considered one of the cleanest oceans on Earth. Speaking of the bottom, krill also live at the bottom of the food chain, which is another reason why they are so highly regarded as being such a clean source of nutrients. The krill in the Southern Ocean, about the size of a paperclip, also deliver long-chain omega-3s EPA and DHA in a mixture of phospholipids and triglycerides, just like the wild Atlantic salmon we mentioned earlier. When krill is further processed into oil, this combination of nutrients remains intact. So what are phospholipids and triglycerides, and what is so significant about the way they deliver omega-3s? Let's talk about phospholipids. Your cells need certain materials to function properly. Phospholipids are important to the structure of your cell walls because they help maintain their strength, flexibility, and integrity. Think of it this way. If you build your house without bricks or concrete, it's not going to be very strong. Consider phospholipids the most important building blocks your cells need to function properly. Just like a poorly built house, cells lacking phospholipids would suffer some pretty severe consequences. In addition to being structural components of your cells, Phospholipids also have the responsibility of carrying long-chain omega-3s, EPA, and DHA into your cell membranes. These are the ingredients that provide flexibility to the cell and travel throughout the body to impart their benefits on various tissues and organs. At the end of the day, triglycerides and phospholipids are different molecules with different properties. They are digested and distributed differently with phospholipid-bound omega-3s reaching the cells and tissues more efficiently, as is the case with krill oil. Omega-3s are great if they are delivered to the places the body needs the most, such as the brain, heart, eyes, and joints. But they can't get to your tissues and organs if they don't get into your blood first. So how can you make sure the omega-3s you take are getting into your tissues? It comes down to the phospholipids. By using something called the omega-3 index, you can measure the percentage of EPA and DHA in the red blood cell fatty acids. 
The presence of omega-3 fatty acids in red blood cells is a reflection of the amount of omega-3s in your tissues and organs. An omega-3 index of 8% or above is considered optimal, while a low omega-3 index indicates a higher risk of sudden cardiac death and potentially other health issues. Unfortunately, many consumers hover somewhere in the high risk and average area, suggesting a need to increase their long-chain omega-3 consumption. Studies have shown that krill oil preferentially boosts the omega-3 index compared to fish oil. Even though krill oil delivers lower amounts of omega-3s EPA and DHA on a gram per gram basis compared to fish oil. The main reason this happens is because of the phospholipids and their ability to carry omega-3s EPA and DHA into the blood more efficiently. On top of that, only krill oil provides, in addition to omega-3 fatty acids, the essential nutrient choline, which is crucial for cell structure, function, and signaling, and like omega-3 fatty acids, contributes to cardiovascular, hepatic, and cognitive health. And let's not forget about astaxanthin. This powerful antioxidant is present in krill oil naturally for a reason, and this is to serve as a natural stabilizer of the omega-3 fatty acids. No added antioxidants necessary. It also serves as a natural preservative, in addition to providing the signature red color of all pure krill oils. Most long-chain omega-3s, like EPA and DHA, come from marine sources, with the most commercially available being fish oil and krill oil. So it would make sense that anyone involved in this business ensure the sustainability and traceability of the omega-3s they supply. But would you believe only about 2% of fisheries that support the long-chain omega-3 business are considered in excellent standing? In that 2% is the Antarctic krill fishery from which Superba krill oil is derived. And if you don't want to take our word for it, ask the independent experts who have verified this fishery sustainability. But we've got a step further. You see, while many omega-3 producers are sustainable, very few are also traceable. Consumers want to know where their products come from, period. And long-chain omega-3s are no exception. Ocker Biomarine, the company that produces Superba krill oil, maintains a 100% traceable supply chain that it also owns and controls. This means you can trace the development of our oil from catch to capsule. Seriously, check it out. 64 degrees 14 south, 61 degrees 36 west. This is one of the many locations in the Southern Ocean where we fish for our omega-3s. Did we also mention that it's made in the USA? Superba krill oil is manufactured stateside in Houston, Texas in a facility that has triple the capacity of any other supplier in the industry. But the best part of this facility? It houses an exclusive technology that enables Ocker Biomarine to offer krill oil products the market has never before seen. Today, this technology, called FlexiTech, has given birth to products like Superba 2 and Superba Boost. But tomorrow, it will yield other innovations to keep the market moving forward. Simply put, the possibilities are endless. So let's go back to why krill oil is more fish than fish oil. Krill oil and wild Atlantic salmon deliver omega-3s in a mixture of triglycerides and phospholipids. Fish oil doesn't. It's as simple as that. Don't you want to get your omega-3s the way nature intended?